The appearance of new technologies in our day-to-day -day has made it possible for the use of ICT in education to increase considerably in recent years. ICTs have gained great relevance in our environment, having a wide catalog of application in various sectors such as entertainment, administration, robotics, education, and all kinds of companies. When we talk about ICT, we are referring to the information and communication technologies. If we had to define the term, surely we would do it as a set of techniques and devices based on new technological tools and the different supports and channels of information and communication. To this, we could add the process of obtaining, storing, processing, and transmitting information digitally. The notable increase in the social use of ICTs and their enormous impact is an aspect that cannot go unnoticed in the world of education. ICT is already becoming a fundamental tool for new teachers and students in the classroom. Greetings of peace and serenity. I am Mark Del Inojo, and for today's video, I am going to tackle the benefits, advantages, disadvantages, and impacts of ICT in teaching and learning processes. It has been proven that the use of ICT in the classroom increases the motivation of the students, showing more interest and becoming more involved in the areas they study. ICT enables the use of innovative educational resources and the renewal of learning methods, establishing a more active collaboration of students and the simultaneous acquisition of technological knowledge. Furthermore, ICTs are of great help in developing discernment, being able to search for various sources and contrast them, as well as to structure information and some of the most notable skills that students develop. The Benefits of ICT in Teaching and Learning Processes First, their interest in learning grows, the use of resources as varied as videos, websites, graphics, and games make traditional subjects more interesting. Multimedia content is a very useful tool to bring different subjects closer to students in a complete and entertaining way. Second, interactivity. The use of ICT in the classroom promotes the student's active and participatory attitude, which is involved in learning and is positioned as the protagonist. Third, collaboration between students. Collaboration between students is clearly enhanced thanks to ver various digital tools. It is much easier for them to create them projects, cooperate, and learn from each other. Fourth, they enhance creativity. ICT tools stimulate the development of the imagination as well as the initiative of all class members. Fifth, increase communication. Close communication between students and teachers is encouraged through various channels in a more spontaneous and less formal way. Six, personalization and content up-to-date. Digital environments allow real-time updating of all information and resources. In addition, it is possible to adjust the tools and content to local and nearby, nearby realities. The advantages of ICT in teaching and learning processes. First, e-learning or online learning. The presence of ICT in education allows for new ways of learning for students and teachers. ICT brings inclusion. Students with special needs are no longer at a disadvantage as they have access to essential material and special ICT tools that can be used by students to make use of ICT for their own educational needs. ICT promotes higher order thinking skills. One of the key skills for the 21st century, which includes evaluating, planning, monitoring, and reflecting to name a few. Fourth, ICT enhances subject learning. It is well known these days that the use of ICT in education adds a lot of value to key learning areas like literacy and numeracy. Fifth, ICT use develops ICT literacy and ICT capability. Both are 21st century skills that are the best developed, while ICT remains transparent in the background of subject learning. Six, ICT use encourages collaboration. ICT naturally brings children together where they can talk and discuss what they are doing for their work, and this in turn 
opens up avenues for communication, thus leading to language development. ICT use motivates learning. Society's demands for new technology has not left out children and their needs. Children are fascinated with technology and it encourages and motivates them to learn in the classroom. ICT in education improves engagement and knowledge retention. When ICT is integrated into lessons, students become more engaged in their work. This is because technology provides different opportunities to make it more fun and enjoyable in terms of teaching the same things in different ways. ICT use allows for effective differentiation instruction with technology. We all learn differently at different rates and styles and technology provide opportunities for this to occur. The disadvantages of ICT in teaching and learning processes. First, technology use in the classroom can be a distraction. Students may appear usefully occupied with the task when in fact they are working very inefficiently and failing to exploit the potential of ICT. They may divert from the intended task without it being too obvious. However, this is the reason why you should monitor technology to use in the classroom in addition to observing their learning progression in ICT. Second, technology can detract students from social interactions. This is not true. Some believe it is. However, you need to remember that technology in the classroom has a way of bringing students together. It has a natural ability to promote collaboration among students and also, there are many ways for students to socially interact with technology in the classroom like blogs. Technology can foster cheating. This is perhaps true, although there are many ways or tools, should I say, for teachers to prevent this, tools such as Turnitin and etc. If this is referring to the internet, then you should also think it no different than a student passing on a book to another student and pointing out the same lines. Plus, not all students have equal access. Out of all the cons, this may be more valid and hold more weight. If there is one thing that a pandemic teaches governments, is that technology at times like this increase the digital value. As you have noticed, the advantages and disadvantages of using technology in the classroom are balanced in favor of the many opportunities that technology brings to teaching and learning processes. Despite this, for some change is not what is considered important to them as they cling to the teaching methods in primary school classroom practices that work the best for them. For these people, the disadvantages of technology in the classroom have more weight and influence than the advantages of technology in the classroom and this is despite the continuing evidence that shows that if change does not occur in the classroom, those who favor the disadvantages the most will be left behind. The impacts of ICT in teaching and learning processes. When educational technology is integrated into classroom, students are able to access more information faster and efficient manner. In the absence of these fundamental changes to the teaching and learning process, such classroom may do little but to accelerate the ineffective processes and methods of teaching. The impact of ICT on learning process therefore excites and engages learners' interests. Today, everything that is required for reading, looking up, studying, training, revising, constructing, arranging, and informing, saving and reminding, browsing or navigating is available at the click of a mouse. Hence, it is necessary for the schools to jump onto the technology bandwagon so as to become part of the information superhighway and make it possible for their learners to have access to the world's knowledge. Once again, this is Mark Del Inoho. That's all for today's video.